deputies shoot and kill a woman they say tried to run them over with a stolen truck. This all went down just after noon in the woods off Lakeland Acres Road in Polk County. Night size Liz Birch tells his deputies are still trying to figure out why the woman chose such a violent end. This situation could have been much worse and um, and people could have died here today. Melissa Nichols is talking about the truck on this trailer dented and marked with bullet holes. I'm just really grateful that the sheriff's department deputies are all OK and that um, nobody else was injured. Nichols says someone on her street called the sheriff when a woman took the truck from a neighbor and went speeding down the street. From the stuff that we saw on our security camera, she was driving very erratically, both in her personal vehicle or the vehicle she was driving and in the truck that she stole. Investigators say the driver, Sydney Alexis Renew, aimed the huge vehicle right at them and floored the accelerator. It had actually come past the deputies in through two trees and hit the ditch. Deputies say they were forced to shoot to protect themselves. Renew died on scene. Nichols says the person who owns this truck is still shaken up. He has a family too who was home when the truck was stolen. It could have been so much worse than it is that everybody is just grateful. Deputies say Renew has a long criminal record, including burglary and fraud charges. Now, one thing we do know for sure, you won't be seeing this shooting on a deputy's body camera. That's because the Polk County Sheriff's Office has long said that it's not interested in using them. Just for reference, the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, Tampa Police, Temple Terrace Police, and Northport all use body cameras.